Hello, VitCon24. I'm Zhao Jingjiang, a software engineer from Bit, also a Vue.js core team member. Today, I'm very excited to talk about the Node APIs in Vite and Vtest, and how we practice them in Bit. Since all the practices we'll introduce are based on Bit, you might wonder what Bit is. In a nutshell, Bit is a platform for building, sharing, and collaborating on components. Every Bit component has its standalone code, docs, test cases, dependency information, and the tool chain setup we call DevEnv. Users can publish their components onto the Bit cloud and debug any one or multiple components in a local Bit workspace together. Recently, we have done a DevM migration from Webpack and Jest to Vite and Vtest. In general, we prefer Node APIs plus inline configs rather than the CLI commands plus config files for better flexibility in the integrations. So all the practices we will share today are based on what have been through in this migration in Bit. Now let's dive into Vite first. Vite is an amazing dev server and build tool. It's super fast, flexible, and friendly to all kinds of modern web projects today. Vite provides three node APIs for the three main use cases respectively, create, server, build, and preview. And for each of them, you need to pass in a config object, of course. The workflow is quite simple. Get the vconfig, and start the VDEV server or build or preview. And finally, for the build process, you can analyze the result necessarily on the return value, which is actually a roll-up output object. Some details you might also need to pay attention to. First, the root path and entries config, just in case your project is in a special directory. Second, the load and merge config files just in case you have multiple config layers in your program. And third, don't forget to listen and close the dev server properly. Now let's see how we practice these node APIs of vid in bit. First, in the bit devm, we have a dev server interface. Here is a core code snippet of integrating the vid dev server. It's quite simple, get the vid config, then create the server and finally start to listen. For more details about the config, it includes the basic part, which is common for all the use cases, and the actual part, which could be customized by upper levels or by users. For the actual configs, it can be an inline object or a configuration file path. Here we use the load config from file and the merge config APIs to do the job. One more thing, sometimes you might want to watch some node modules and at the same time avoid them from the pre-bundle ahead for dependency optimization. To support this, you usually have to set three different config paths in Vite, server.watch.ignored, optimizedeps.entries, and optimizedeps.exclude. Now we have made a plugin called Watch Packages Plugin to achieve this in just one step, passing a package name list in. Now let's see a demo of the VDEV server in Bit. Here we have a Bit local workspace with a view component which includes source code, docs, and a code example for preview. After running Bit start, a VDEV server will start under the hood. Then you can open the browser and click on the component to preview the docs and examples. That's all for the VDEV server. Next, we also have a boundary interfacing bit. It supports you to build your docs and examples. And if the component itself is also an app, it will also build and deploy the app as well. The code snippet is here, just call the build API with a config object and get the build result, such as asset map from the return value. Now let's take another demo. 
This demo is actually the slides app that I'm presenting now, which render a markdown file into slides. You can see after running bit tag, the vip bundler will start to build the app. And then the program will find the built files by the return value and deploy them onto Netlify. Now you can open the Netlify URL in the browser to see the slides. That's all about the vNode APIs practices. Now let's move on to the vTest. vTest, the modern test runner for JavaScript. Besides the just compatible test API designs, it also powered by vit, which makes a perfect match for our migration. vTest also provide a node API for the test runner. Just call the start vTest API with the test command at the first argument and some following configs. We usually just use the fourth argument for the vit config and the fifth argument for some actual vTest options. The workflow is also simple. Get the vTest config, then start vTest tester, and finally output the test results. In terms of the details, Besides all the bit similar ones we have mentioned before, you also need to clearly specify the test files by include and exclude. And the result collection is also important. Now let's see how we practice those APIs of vTest in bit. Last but not least, we have a tester interface in bit. It supports you to run your component tests and collect the results. Here is how we integrate vTest. Get the vconfig, then start the vTest tester, and finally collect the test result from the return value. Here, we didn't customize anything on the second and third arguments. All the config setup is inside the fourth argument, which is the vit override config. For the vit config, it has an extra test field for vTest, which is the same as the normal vTest config file. However, you have to specify the route necessarily. For the result collections, you need to check the failed cases, the errored cases, and the errors out of the cases separately, via three different places in the testing result. Don't forget any of them. One more thing. When integrating something into your program, sometimes you might be noised by an interactive on-hold prompt or an access signal by third-party libraries. VTest also has such a design in special conditions. For example, VTest will ask for permission to install some additional NPM packages when running VTest UI, generating coverage reports, etc. To handle this, we have created a custom package installer and pass it in at the fifth argument. Now let's see the last demo of the vTest tester in bit. Here we have a component with the test case. After running bit test, the vTest will start to run the test case and collect the result. One last thing. All the node APIs we have introduced above are just the tip of the iceberg. You might need to dive into them for further details. In this case, the TypeScript DTS files in vid and vtest packages are your really good friends. Just go and find them in the known modules when you get anything wrong or need to know more about the APIs. That's all for today. I'm really honored to be sharing our practices on vid and vtest in bit. And thank you all for listening. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Thank you.